Hello Kingsmen, welcome back to the Napoleonic Battlefield. Today we have a 4v4. This one was posted by the Nate Devourer, and it is going to be a core battle. Um, three Prussia, one Saxony versus four French. We have Ney, Bernadotte, Murat, and Davout. Um, on this side, it is going to be Bernadotte pushing up first. Bernadotte quickly followed by uh, Davout. We have Murat, Cavcore, and then Ney on the far right. Um, as you can see already, we have uh, some Hussars <laughs> pushing up, kind of scouting around the Prussians. Honestly, guys, I know a little bit what happens here because I was just recording this and my mic wasn't on. So I did about half the battle and my mic wasn't on. Good thing I had two screens and I actually went and checked. I was very upset because... But now I know what happens, you know. <laughs> um, so some Hussars are going to scare off these uh, Bernadotte Hussars. And uh, then they're both going to stop. The tree line probably is what's making them hesitate. Uh, it slows them down. And, of course, there's more Chasseur Cheval pushing up to kind of support this cab fight. Of course, also, Russia has some heavies as well as some Hussars of their own. Um, Russia should honestly not push this. But, you know, they're going to go for it. They're going to hit right in the back of these Hussars. And start killing them one by one. My goodness. Which is, of course, going to cause uh, these Chasseurs Cheval to push up and try to defend, you know, the French ally. Uh, French, uh, Prussia should honestly be pushing up to uh, defend. Maybe having their heavies hit out here. Of course, France has way more cav. They have, you know, some Azars, some more Chasseurs Cheval. They just have way more than Prussia does. So Prussia should probably try to be a little more defensive when it comes to their cavalry. Um, but yeah, both sides are mutually going to break and ride away. Both decide to go back to their capital. We had more uh, Hussars now from Prussia pushing over. But they have some Hussars in the back. They're going to charge them, and that's going to make this a very bad situation for them, as they're probably going to break. Um, that means that Prussia only has some of their heavies left. Which are in a very vulnerable position, and they are going to get charged in turn by the French. Which is going to turn out to be a very bad situation here. Oof. They are going to lose all of their cav, and uh, their artillery is actually vulnerable. So is their general. Look at all... Look at this artillery. There is nothing guarding it, and France is roaming on this side. So I think they're probably going to ship their crossiers over here to uh, defend that. But I think they will manage to save it. Now, we do have uh, Murat going over here, as this obviously seems to be where the fighting is getting concentrated. France is going to want to take this hill. Uh, be an excellent position for firing. Um, with the hills with 9.0, it gives you a lot more accuracy and uh, gives you some some uh, bonus stuff. That's as good as I can put it, I guess. <laughs> we do have some of these light infantry. Bernard only has like six or five line infantry. Um, he's a seven pointer, so not bringing a ton. But you see, Prussia is stacking themselves up here. They have a ton of line infantry that's going down this road. They are determined to hold by this tree line, it would seem. Um, there's a small river that runs along this tree line, so that is a natural position of uh, strength. Actually, there's a lot of small rivers here. This one, another one right here. So you can see it kind of branches off. Goes this direction. And uh, there's a lot of trees. If Prussia and Saxony want to hold, they can hold on this side. Put their artillery up in a good position and probably, you know, make a good strong defense. Um, France is going to have probably the difficult task of attacking here. Although, do they have LOCs? Do they? No, I think France has LOC advantage right now. Which is very interesting that they would be attacking. Oh, no. Yeah, they do. France has an LOC victory. Or on their hands technically they they have <clears throat> an advantage so uh prussia is going to be pushed over here i'm not sure what prussia can do i almost would say think that prussia would 
uh, get aggressive and attack this hill. But maybe they don't have enough cav to support that attack. But Prussia is going to start marching their reserves over. My, my voice is trying to, like, disappear on me. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, the Prussians are going to form up here. They're going to get the reserves. Saxony has an army that's marching down this road. Um, there's another, looks like, two Prussian armies on the left. So, Ney is going to have his work cut out for him. He's going to have to hold... Um, this LOC and the area surrounding it. I mean, the nice thing for the French is they have some excellent positions. They have all this hilly territory that ranges all along here. Some right here, they can put some guns to fire on the flank of the Prussians. Put some guns here, fire directly on the front. And, I mean, Russia has some good positions, I guess. But it's not as good as the French position. I mean, the, the French can hold right here and have infantry standing there while the artillery fires from here and it'll fire directly over their heads over here it is the most ideal position this this map is definitely in favor of the french i would say um, we'll see what the french do they may defend i will hope to get an attack out of them i hope that they will attack they have murat which is very aggressive they have artillery setting up which means they can support that attack or support that defense plus I feel like when you attack, you have a better advantage here. Looks, looks like uh, this artillery is now going to start firing here. 12-pounder, they are focusing down the 12-pounder of France. So, uh... These guys need to unlimber, which they are doing. They are almost in danger of getting hit. They are very vulnerable when un when they're limbered up still. Force artillery as well. They took the LLC. Um, firing, I do believe, at some of the Saxon units as they advance here. Still not seeing a ton from Prussia, but you know that there's an army here. There's two generals, which means two Prussian armies. Ney is going to have a tough job ahead of him um, if Prussia decides to push with two armies. <clears throat> they could try to uh, drive a spearhead attack right in between them. But Murat should be able to help that. He's bringing two crossiers. Bring in some of the dragoons. Actually, a lot of dragoons. Um, and then some chasseur cheval. A very good uh, combination of cav. They, of course, are trying to threaten this Prussian four-pounder because this is a really good position. They have skirmishers set up. Saxony has skirmishers set up. A lot of skirmishers. Um, a lot of artillery so they can easily support this attack. The one downside I see is that Saxon's cav, which, I mean, they have it in the back because of all the French artillery that is just moving up, even more pushing up. Six more guns along with the two... There's already six guns, so 12 guns will be firing on the Prussian emplacement once they get up. <clears throat> that is why probably Saxony has their cab way back. It's probably way back here, won't get shot. Um, but then, if that's the case, don't leave your skirms up here by themselves. Unless you have line infantry that can form a square with them, because France is just gonna go for it. Now look at this French advance. We have the skirmishers firing at them, firing at these advancing troops, who are now going to I'm gonna double click. They're gonna probably start getting up. Yeah, they're running. Double click, they're gonna get up and start firing. They're going down into the trees. Look at those skirms just sitting right by them. Artillery really hammering this uh, line infantry though, so they need to deal with that. As these skirms are definitely gonna be oh, do I see it? Yes I do. We have the French cav. Two sides going in. So they're gonna go for the artillery and the skirmishers of Saxony. And uh, try to do their best to destroy this front. Um 
I do believe the artillery was broken. At the same time, I do believe it looks like France may be trying to go for this Prussian gun placement. And uh, can they make it? Oh no! The canister is slaughtering the Chasseur Cheval and causing a break for the made it. Over on this side, the artillery, I do believe, have managed to get away, but they are not by their guns. And now all hell has broken loose. French infantry, French cab charging in, driving back some Prussians. As a Saxony and Prussia try to reform here, we have some brave 51 infantry of the line. Along with some uh, Chasseur Cheval charging across here. Look at these brave souls charging into the thick of it. And at the same time, France is going to charge in for these 12 pounders and break them instantly. Sneaking in behind the Prussian line. They broke one of the artillery, not all of them. But now France is starting to make their advance, possibly. Trying to get their line of out of there, but they broke. Now Saxony better get their infantry out of there because they're going to get charged in return by Murat's Dragoons. As well as, ooh, some Hussars for Prussia just broke. So this battle is definitely heating up here. Um, Mirat is definitely using the cab. It's just a cab charges back and forth. France, I think, was not liking this position. Um, they are outnumbered heavily by the Prussian line infantry. Um, looks like there's even that skirmishers made it out of their alive. The artillery made it out of their alive. So, um, yeah, France is going to have to reevaluate. They may have to give a second. Pause. Let the artillery, which is now up and firing... Can we appreciate this position for a second, guys? Look at this position. Firing directly over the heads of their troops. And just shattering this Saxon-Prussian line. Oh, here we do see the Prussians now pushing up. Ney, I think, was thinking about attacking um, with, you know, six units. But he's going to fall back. He has artillery up in an excellent hill placement. I love this position. He has an 8-pounder and, what is this, a 4-pounder. He also has the LOC, garrisoned by some of the line infantry, I do believe. 99 men. Only 55 can go in it with the new update, by the way. That's a normal thing. All right, guys, we are back. I'm sorry, it crashed, which is something that does happen. Um, <laughs> like I said, we are back. Um, about where we were, yeah, with the French having been repulsed with not too heavy of losses, obviously Saxony and Prussia took some losses, lost some guns, um, and now the lines are definitely being drawn here, um, along the board, more Prussian artillery is going to be returning that fire from this beautiful, as I was saying before, French battery, look at this, it is gorgeous, now, um, from a position you can look here, France is in a very good position here, uh, pretty good here, but they are going to have some severe problems um, <laughs> taking on two Prussian armies, which are just rolling up. Look at how many men are here. There's men roll. Are these Grenadiers? I mean, they're going to be getting hit by artillery fire from France, who's in that beautiful position. Uh, but they have rows upon rows of Prussians just ready to devastate any uh, French resistance. And France is going to fall back as he is heavily outnumbered. Salt is going to, or Ney, sorry. Ney probably should just hold by the river. He has more artillery actually setting up here. Another eight pounder. Um, good on him. So we do have Murat, no, Bernadotte and Murat. Here we go. Murat has some of the uh, Dragoons pushing over on this side. Bernadotte as well has some of their calf pushing up. Maybe he can try to put some pressure using this road to rapidly get up here. What do we have? Some Grenadiers of the line who are going to push up. We do, of course, have some skirmishers on the other side. Uh, hopefully, there's some cab is going to slice and dice them up, maybe. These dragoons are pushing up. Oh, they're going for some skirmishers here. These guys are stuck, and they're going to become mincemeat uh, for this... Uh, Dracoon unit of Cav, who then are going to push forward for the guns. Oh no. All men are running. They most certainly are running. They got blasted with canister. 
And uh, that turned out to be a very disastrous. Oh, we do have more cab running over here. What do we have? Some more heavies for Prussia. I think they're realizing Prussia may need their cab over here because you can see the weight of Davu is pushing up here along with some cavalry. We have Dragoons pushing up on this side. We do have Crassieris in the back. More artillery pushing up. I feel like something is about to happen here. Skirmisher is kind of screening the front. You can see Prussia is even shifting over as well. Prussia, Saxony having their calves set up. Prussia is in a dangerous predicament right here. Um, this would be the part that I would want to hit for Prussia. Um, they're very weak. These are Grenadiers, but, you know, it's a thin line. Of course, they do have some reserves, but those are actually shifting away from the fighting on this side. This is a very weak point. They have the artillery, only three infantry along this entire, or four oh. infantry along this entire oh. line. Our general is under attack. We do have Russia pushing up as well in the trees. They may be trying to outflank, drive a wedge and take, or not a wedge, but take the flank. Oh, do we have, do we have France pushing up here? Oh no, it's a huge calf fight possibly here. That square holding up as France is now going to either calf to defeat maybe any Saxon um, Prussian cab, which may try going in on them. And it looks like he's going to take that combat, sending in his Hazars first. Uh, I think that Prussia and uh, Saxony are in a bad place to take this combat. Yeah, and they even the odds already. It's 2v2 now. Um, more cab charging in. These heavies are going to have their work cut off them, although more Prussians are now pushing up. Oh, at the same time, we have a huge bayonet charge here. Prussians trying to form up the Scarassiers and Lion Infantry charging in. Look at this huge push France is making. Saxony gonna, or Prussia gonna charge in their cab as well. We do have um, Prussia and Saxony pushing back any French, but here come the French once more with some Dragoons in the corner here, along with their Lion Infantry trying to get in and melee, which is what they do best. A counter charge from Prussian cab on the center. Russia trying to hold here. France made some squares. And this is turning into a mess. You see Prussia is actually losing just because of the consistent um, French charges with the cavalry and line infantry here. And these heavies probably are not going to hold up. Prussia is breaking the center. Prussia also has engaged Ney. And Ney may have to fall back to the river here. As you can see, he is massively overwhelmed. Um, on this side, Prussia even making a pressure on this side, but this is a huge part of the battle, the guys. Prussia made a huge route for their line infantry, or three of the line infantry plus some cav possibly broke. They do have a backup line, but more of their cav is breaking. We do have some Saxon cav gonna charge these Crassiers. Maybe try to drive them back, charging the flank, as well as Saxony for me to watch because they, this whole side, it's divided into three sections. I think the river um, on each side is kind of, you can see this river right here, kind of separating it. Oh my goodness, Prussia getting charged once more by some Dragoons. And this is turning out to be very disastrous here. I mean, Prussia is breaking some of the French on this side, but this Cav, Saxony and Prussia need to counter this cavalry, oh, they're running down these Prussians with their own cap. They need to really get this part figured out because Mira is definitely, Mira is being terrible. Um, and look at this cap now pushing onto the Saxon side. Saxony is going to need to charge this Hussar if they want to fix this side. France has started forming up here. They still have plenty of cap for the coalition, but this whole side is just shattering. So fast here. Saxony and Prussia starting to push up. In fact, they're even getting close to this LOC. Artillery is going to definitely make it a hell the man of fatigue, for the Prussians to advance. They should push across this river right here and try pushing on that flank. This is looking bad, although they're taking some losses here. Taking some losses. France is advancing once more. Getting very close. I'm not sure what their plan is here. They're going to probably lose a lot of troops. This is still raging, guys. Still raging. Cavalry charging in. Uh, France has managed to really destroy the left or right flank, far right flank of the coalition. 
and start to chew away at what's left of their forces here. Prussia is going to probably have to fall back um, in the center and reform maybe on this hill. Because this whole right flank looks like it's about to go downhill very rapidly. They have Cab trying to save it, but I don't I don't know if it's going to work. It's actually going to charge in some of their Cav here. But you can see the morale is just not working very well for the coalition here. Mass routing. Uh, Saxony and Prussia have managed to hold here, but they have a huge flank they're going to have to worry about. Enemy general has been slain. Prussia's general, I do believe, kills. We still have a Ney over here holding as best he can. Oh, we have two units. Are they killing each other? Uh, they are still trying to take the LLC. I think that Ney actually has a very good opportunity to uh, take and keep this flake. Um, he's holding up very well for now. He has large units. Um, looks like France is getting kind of chewed away at this flake. So it's up to France to continue, continually advance along this road, along this bridge and river. And not they can't stop. They have to turn this flake and continue turning it. Prussia and Saxony, I think, should fall back from this side and rejoin and let them turn the flank of Ney and maybe see if they can't make a decisive push here. Prussia is really suffering heavily here. Let themselves get really close. Do I hear Cav? And line infantry. Okay, so we have some cavalry, some carabineers charging against the square. We have some Prussians countercharging line infantry to stop them from being able to get to the square and break it. France is going all in here. They may actually hold, although, oh my goodness, look at some of the breaking. They have some double stacked lines. They are pushing across the river using their cav very defensively. It looks like actually Saxony has managed to regroup. Now they are very weakened, but so is France. I mean, France has a couple lines. This building units, has fallen to the enemy. But they are very weak. Where? Where? Oh wow, they took it already. France is losing it. Now they are, of course, going to do counter uh, charge in, try to take out the Prussians. They're going to take it back, but they already have counter charge in return here. This building has changed hands multiple times. Um, but Prussia is actually breaking because of this Mira and uh, Davu counter charge. Trying to protect Ney's flank as Ney is going to fight with Mira for the uh, house. And Russia seems to be doing pretty badly now here. I don't know if it's the artillery, but France is just chewing them up with these thick units. Oh, look at how many men are firing in these units. I mean, it is telling on these Prussians. I don't know if Prussia has it. I honestly don't think Prussia has it this time, guys. France is turning this around. These crossiers charging in. They're tired, but they're going to break a lot of Prussians. And going in from the back as well. My goodness, Murat is helping turn the fight. We do have some fresh, heavy cav of Prussia going to charge. These crosshairs, I think, have fought their last fight. Did they break up? Yeah, they did. Unfortunate. But Prussia is starting to get charged with some bayonets um, by France, using these buildings to just get up really close and not shoot them. Prussia is out here now with their infantry and cavalry Forcing the Prussians and Saxons to try to defend their flank here. They are just totally caught out. I mean, oh my goodness, artillery. The artillery and then the cannon of the uh, infantry and cav is just making this a nightmare. Prussia does have a solid line. The men of the they should fall back from this point. They are getting shelled into oblivion by six guns here. They do have their own artillery, I guess, so there's something for that. France had a huge break, though. Um, but I don't know if it's gonna... Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. We have some cavalry charging in. Charging for these Prussians. Can they form a square? I don't know. There's a cab way in the back. Artillery way in the back. Russia is looking really, really, really shaky. 
France trying to sneak around here. They have some, uh, they had some cav, but actually they have lost this portion of the fight. Um, and Prussia is starting to counterattack on this side. These skirms really gonna be a deadly, deadly kill zone if they don't die too fast. So Prussia was having a good push here. I think France is attacking the flank way too effectively for them to actually make a decisive push here. As you can see, France is countercharging up here. Eventually they will be stopped, but it may not matter. Prussia may route before that, and France is holding strong here. Prussia breaking very rapidly. The couple units they have here they should exert more troops on this side to uh, deal with this. Oh, they broke a house. Yeah, the whole left flank now of Prussia has caved. So uh, the, the other big fight seems to be right here in the house where cavalry once more from Mira is pushing up. Line of retreat pushing up using the house to kind of shelter their troops. And there goes the cavalry, probably going for the artillery. Our men are running, sir. And Prussia now routed. That was, I believe, maybe it wasn't two armies. I thought it was two armies here. Um, two armies for Prussia that were broken. Now, one of them may have been over here. One of them was on the far left flank. But now the artillery for Prussia is going to get routed. And this glorious army has been reduced to mostly routing men. Those bayonet charges is what it was. Now we do have France now, bayonet charging in. This is how you beat the Prussians. You don't stand and shoot. You go in for the, give them the cold steel, which is what they're doing. Our men are running for. Cavalry, some cross the airs, charging in against Russia. This is the beginning of the end. So, it's going to be a victory, I would say, for the for the Imperials. It, not by LOC, but by, uh, by just deathmatch. I mean, they just routed the, uh, the Coalition's forces. Now, granted, yes, it's not over, but Prussia seems to have upper hand here. Or France seems to have upper hand here, although, man, they have some cavalry here. Prussia better not throw their cav away. There we go. They were just routing some of uh, Ney's chest de cheval. They do have artillery as well. Prussia should keep falling back. Fall back to their artillery. They can try to hold this flank, um, but their ally is just getting charged into routing constantly everywhere. I mean, look at this Prussia. They're just getting broken. As France is advancing, they have cavalry behind them. And the only force left is this small Saxon force. They do have some heavy cav to help defend them, so France needs to get very cautious. Their units are probably tired and active. Um, they need to rest up, use their artillery, maybe focus down some of this Prussian cav. Saxony and Prussia could just consolidate their forces once more. Um, the nice thing is Prussia still has some cav to defend themselves. They even have some units over here. Oh, an artillery piece. But, you know, use your artillery. Prussia, ooh, Prussia has more troops that are coming back. So Prussia is starting to consolidate themselves. Um, it's going to be a desperate last stand, of course. Saxony trying to hold back the French, not working too hot for their cav. But now they are holding by this hill. Desperately holding on for dear life. Imagine one of these poor guys. You're told just to shoot the enemy wherever you see them. Yeah, this cab's getting focused down by artillery. They need to keep back and be defensive with it. Wait till the French charge in and then use it. Otherwise, you're going to waste your cab. Um, Prussia is still falling back. Some of the units pushing up their cavalry as well. I don't know where they're going to stand, but I, they have artillery or had artillery. Looks like they're going to stand here and start firing already at the French. 
who are winded themselves. Russia going to try to do their best to hold on his flank. They are not giving up. I love it. So here we go. Saxony charging in their cab against Miraz Dragoons. And of course, the general himself trying to inspire his men to stay in the fight as... Uh, look at this. I think these are, yeah, French troops charging in against some... Uh, Dragoons or Grenadiers, and there's of course French Dragoons as well in SRs. Um, going for all the marbles, and now the Prussian Cav is going to go in, but they just got hit by artillery. It's going to go badly for them. Prussia actually may have a better chance of winning over here than over here, where um, the French Cav is so dominant. But yeah, that will be this flank gone, I do believe. So it'll just be up to a shooting match. Do we have some cab charging in? These poor blokes getting hit. Oh, they formed square. Look at these brave Saxon dudes. Oh, this poor artillery. They would have been better used over here just to stay there. Um, but yeah, the Field of Dead. Man, this is actually a cool map. I really do want to try this map. Um, what was the name of it now? Dang, I gotta remember. Did I mention it when I first started recording? I cannot remember now. Dang, okay, so these heavies broke, but they did break one of the French units. I mean, I guess a victory in a way. Uh, Ney has taken some heavy losses now, so he's gonna actually pull back. These units cannot come square. They're under 44 men. But he's gonna, yikes, use them to kind of brace, brace everything here. But oh, they're gonna keep charging in. Oof. Russia's gonna seek to destroy Ney, even if that's all they do. Because, I mean, Sa any Saxon troops left are breaking very rapidly here. Just some skirmishers left. They had a tough position. I mean, could you? I mean, they had a tough position. France had an excellent position on that hill. I mean, we have killed that general. They son. had now the they ideal break. artillery position. I mean, you look at this. They had free reign of entire field here. Uh, Prussia had a good one too. They just lost it a little too close to uh, where France obviously pushed in. Very good of them to push in right here. Um, the trees kind of, I think, give some kind of secrecy to what's being pushed up. And with Prussia not really having a lot on this hill, made it difficult. Obviously, the first initial French the attack did not do well here, um, which is why, why they pushed on this side, using the flank and hitting in the center all at once. A uh, nice open area for Murat. Murat would have been so destroyed in these trees trying to rush across. I'm sure he lost a couple cab units there initially. But I mean, I'm going to fast forward here. We keep talking. So then, of course, Prussia pushed across here. But like I said, once again, France had an excellent artillery position and had some good placement of their infantry. They took some losses, but they had the town and that such to help defend them as well as uh, being able to push the flank. Once again, using that river to push across. So I, like I said before, this one was, uh, I believe, oh, I don't remember who posted it now. I think it was a person who played as Mira. But I actually cannot remember now. My mind is blanking. But you can see here um, the kills. Mira got a lot of kills with that cav. Um, let's see which one. 378 with the Dragoons, the Guard. My goodness. Four experience. Six experience for the Chasseur Cheval. Um, the Heavies didn't even do the most damage. And then, of course, Artillery did not that much damage at <laughs> all. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.